Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Spirit Sessions, A View of the Light, where we take spiritual concepts and the paranormal and the normal and break them down into everyday language. Um, today we have a, a great guest, um, hi, Shanti Bauer, and we'd like you to share this out to all your friends because we've heard the word Kundalini, but how many of us actually knows what it means? And Kai will be giving us a, a, a really good summary and explanation about the Kundalini. And then she will share a process with us that will help us um, with that. Um, please share it out to all your friends. And today, Teresa, who, what's, who wins the winner? We have, I have the winner of who wins with us uh, this afternoon. Uh, uh, and we'll tell you that at the end of the show. I think who it's, wins uh, today with, wins with Rhonda, with you. Well, who won last week then? Who wins? Who? who I'm last sorry. week it was Shelly last won with me. Wins. And, I hope. and this week's winner wins with me. Who we, it's who shares out the most wins with who today? Whoever shares oh, the most wins. So out. that'll be uh, uh, wins with Bex Marie. And Bex is out sick today. So hopefully next week she'll I be agree. with us. So if everybody Take wants to share it out, and I'm going to share it out today. So that'd be great. Everybody share it out. Um, and so, we have a, a great guest. Um, Teresa, why don't you introduce our guest today for us? Okay, well, I met Kai, Kai Shanti Bauer, and, and she's such a lovely personality. I've, I've been watching her on, um, on YouTube, and she is more than amazing to me. And some of the things I like about her is, is she, her energy has such a, a fresh feel to it. And while she learns processes, there's a part of her that, that's just going to totally listen to her own guidance. And that is so admirable. The guidance that comes through her is something that, that she brings out into her learning. She's not strictly by everything that, that, that she learns. She listens to it all, listens, regurgitates it inside, and brings it out. And I think that that is just so Cool, and I know that she puts events together, and um, she's been to amazing places, and she's helped so many, many people. So welcome to our show, Kai. It's an honor Thank to you. have you with us. It's an honor to be here. I love you. Thank you. Oh, yes. I, you, you're <laughs> such a figure of love. I, I love the feelings. And, and so even when you do, like, the light language and stuff, I, I can feel the, the Mostly I feel female energy coming around you and, and, and stuff and feel it coming through. It's so amazing. So today we're just going to ask you about this Kundalini stuff. What What's going on with these snakes and things? It's like, oh, my goodness. So, <laughs> what is this? So I'll talk about the Kundalini from my perspective, which is from the yogic perspective. So when I was 27, I'm 50 years old now. When I was 27, my Kundalini was awakened by a Shakti pot master. And that came through a series of events where I was praying to meet my Shakti Pot Master. Um, I was actually married to a rock star in Los Angeles. And then I get going through that divorce. I was um, led by my therapist to do the Yogi Bhajan style of Kundalini Yoga. But I always had deeper questions while I was in that tradition of where did this come from? Where did he learn this? You know, I, I just I wanted to know more. And that led me to Nashville, actually, where my guru was at the time. Nashville. And I met my guru. Yeah, Nashville, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who, who knew? Who knew? Johnny Cash and gurus. <laughs> awesome. So I thought I was walking into a regular Kundalini yoga class, and I walked in. There was a picture of the guru on the shrine. And it just, the whole process blew my mind, but I knew I was supposed to be there. And he was giving Shakti Pot. And so people were experiencing what we call Kriyas. So when your Shakti or your Kundalini is awakened, it purifies all the nadis in your body. So we have like 720 million or something nadis, which are like mm -hmm. the subtle nerve system. So when she's awakened, she, and it's always the female form, the, the Shakti or the Kundalini energy is the female form. So I guess I'll, this is what I was describing to you the other night. So when a human body is formed, the Shakti or the Kundalini forms the body. And then once the body's formed, 
it goes to sleep. And this is in the yogic tradition in a three and a half coil. And that's the symbol of the snake, but it's the snake with the head down or the snake asleep. And so it stays in this dormant position until the kundalini energy is awakened. And once the energy is awakened, then it starts purifying your system on all levels. So it's subtle levels and it's gross levels. So it's physical, emotional, spiritual, all levels of your body. It purifies all the systems. So we go through different purification processes. And I'm sure a lot of people that are watching this have experienced this, but it can be emotional. Um, you can have spontaneous breathing. You can have the what people are calling now the light language. We always called it the Shakti talk. And she, it was very funny back in the day. She would talk to herself. Like there were a bunch of people manifesting this energy at the same time as in the form of the Divine Mother or other forms of deities. And she would literally get in a circle of like seven of us and she would talk to herself. She would have a conversation with herself in this language. <laughs> and it was like a coffee clutch. She would laugh and just carry on a whole conversation. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, that was, so my Kundalini was awakened when I was 27 and it was very, very strong at that time. I was with my guru 24 seven and he was, there wasn't, there weren't really any other people at the ashram at that time. So I just got his full energy just constantly. And within three or four months, I was in full manifestation of Kali, of the Divine Mother. And so she started going around the room and giving Shakti Pot. So Shakti Pot is when someone else awakens the energy. It's usually in the past, it's been a master or a guru or a yogic. Um, they've always said it has to be a yogic master when it's in that tradition to awaken the kundalini and and the other thing about the tradition is they say when you are in the tradition and when it's awakened from that place that it's safe so people have fears about kundalini emergencies which i personally and you know 22 years have never experienced a kundalini emergency because this energy is your god self it is your God force. It is the God that dwells within you. And she is all knowing and she knows what you need. So she's not going to do anything that's not safe. If, does that make sense? So, yes. yeah, because I've heard the same I know thing people are people. If you waken it too, too quickly, something could happen. Your head will blow off or something. I don't know. <laughs> Well, in the tradition, they do say that, and, and, you know, again, this is all coming from the tradition and what I've learned in the tradition, that if you try to force the kundalini to awaken or awaken, that you're not pleasing her, um, that they could become that. But when you're in the tradition, you have that backing of the gurus and of the tradition, so it's always safe. So that's what I've been told, and I've always relied on that. And I have, so I left my my Shakti Pot Guru a couple years ago because of what you were saying, Teresa, is that I was in a very strict tradition of the Kundalini Shakti and within that tradition you really have to, you know, abide by a certain set of rules and the way things are done. But yet this Shakti was coming through me in such a strong way and she wanted to do things differently than the way uh, I was being told. I struggled with this for I mean, a long time, but really for five years, I was just in turmoil because my guru would be telling me one thing and my inner Shakti is telling me something else. And, and in that tradition, I don't know if you're familiar with guru traditions, but you just, if the guru says that's blue and you see it as red, you go, okay, it's blue. You know, that's, that's the guru tradition. That's what wow. you do. You wow. just give everything. Right. And I was so steeped me. in that tradition, but yet this energy coming through me was so strong and, and saying to do it this way, I finally left. I just had to leave because I, I couldn't be torn up by that anymore. And now it is this full exploration of honoring the tradition and honoring all of that, but also really honoring what's coming through because I think it's coming through in a whole new and different way now. And in one of my YouTube videos a couple weeks ago, she talked about the awakening of the energy. And she said, every single person on this planet is awakening right now. Every single person and the earth herself oh. is awakening. That gives so, me goosebumps. I know. Yes, <laughs> I, I love this. 
I don't think it's yeah. a time anymore to stay with the old ways. I think it's a time to allow her to come through and do what she wants and to completely honor her and the energy that she's bringing forth at this time. So that's what I'm doing. Beautiful. And, you know, she told me to call my, what I do, angel of light meditation. And this is coming out of a Shakti Pat Kundalini tune. I'm like, what? That's, that's <laughs> Not in line, but it's because she wants to spread it to a wider audience. It's not just yoga. Yeah. So the Kundalini obviously is existent in every single religion, every single tradition, because it's in every single human being. We can't be formed as a human being if we don't have this energy within us. It is, it is our life force energy. It's what makes us alive. So that's wow, that's, that's it. So cool. that's all. Yeah. So. How connected is this to all the chakras? You brought out all the nadis are involved. And, and so is this a slow process or is it a instant it, manifestation it kind of totally, thing? Totally depends on the person. I, I've seen people sit in the energy for years and years and years and not feel anything. And then all of a sudden one day they'll feel something. And I've also seen people who have never been in the energy they come for the first time and they have this explosive, oh my God, it went from the first chakra, second chakra, third chakra, all the way up to my crown where I exploded into light, you know, <laughs> and oh, I turned wow. into Ganesha or something. <laughs> so it, so it, it's just totally dependent on, I think, your past lives, your karmas, your attitude, your stance, like how much, where your devotion is. So much of this is devotion, the bhakti, you know, which is just that full divine love and devotion for the divine. And it seems to be that the more that's present, the more she really awakens and expands in you. But it's hard to say. I've seen, I've seen so many different experiences. Some people have it awaken right in the root chakra. Some people have it awaken in the heart chakra. Some people feel it first in the crown chakra. You know, so we can read the books and see what the books say. But then, but then you also, just from being in it for so long, you see there is no rhyme or reason. She just works in the way that she needs to work within each person. I wow. was wondering how, so, how yes. do you know? How do we know it's awakened? Yeah. How do we know? How do we know? It's awakened awakened that's that? a good question that we were talking about. That might be a question for me to close my eyes for because um, that's when when people usually say to me, "Is it awakened?" That's when I will have a session with them to kind of check in on that. Right. And, Would and you, you like do, me that to do that through your through your web page? There. Did you want to do that? Sure, or we can try. Talk it. A sure. Post. What? Um, well, we we got time. If if you feel like doing that, like if it depends on what what does she want to do? What's yes. your grace want to do? Let me see. Yes, yeah, so the Kundalini is awakened when your body is ready to be divine, when your body's ready to be free, when your body's ready to be open to that energy of grace within you. Oh my gosh, so many people on this call right now are feeling this energy, the awakening, the grace, the truth, the peace, the love within you, the divinity within you, awakening within you, feeling itself within you, yes. So the energy is awakened when we know that we've seen that energy within us. There's really no mistaking that. If you felt some significant change in your body, if you felt some significant opening, awakening, um, a moment of divinity, a moment of peace, a moment of knowingness, a moment of feeling that quality of divinity within you, yes, then you know that that energy is moving within you. You know that energy is feeling the grace within you. You know that energy has been awakened within you. So we see it, we feel it, we know it, we experience it. Anyone that's really delving into their spiritual path at this time is feeling some sort of awakening within their body because it's happening on a grand scale now. So everyone is feeling this energy to some degree. Everyone is feeling this energy to some some degree. So we we question it when we walk around the world and we see darker energies, but the darker energies are clearing themselves out very 
um, adamantly now. They're just clearing themselves out, clearing themselves out. So the more you see this darker energy, it's just because it's coming up to be cleared. It's just because it's coming up to be released. It's just because it's coming up and Kai's bring up the political party. So we, we see what's happening in the political parties and they seem so dark and dense, but they're not. What's happening is it's being seen. It's being brought up to be revealed. It's being brought up to be seen. And everyone is seeing this within themselves to some degree at this point in time. Yeah. Hmm. Very cool. Yeah. I, I love yeah. that. So is this to be a great seen job as, as a friend? That. That's perfect. A, a friend within us or, or, or something that we have to discipline or, or you, you, do you know what I'm trying to say? How do we, how do we interact with it on a daily basis if it is waking up? You just surrender and love and know that this is your God force. This is your energy of awakening. This is your truth. Like this is the highest power that is you. So nice. yes, your friend and beyond your friend, your everything, your, it's your God force that dwells within you. So I always tell people sit, take the time to sit. And when you can be alone and talk to the energy, and tell her I'm here, I'm available, I'm ready, I'm giving my all to you, I love you. Do you know what I mean? Just fully yes, reveal so yourself to her and to that energy and she'll be there with you and awakening within you. And and if, if there's ever a scary moment, you surrender that. You know, you just say, okay, I'm, I know I'm experiencing something deep now. There's a really great book by Swami Muktananda Swami Muktananda and his guru, Bhagavan Nichananda, are both work with me astrally a lot, but he has a book called a Play of Consciousness, which is about his awakening, Swami Muktananda, and he describes a lot of the processes that happened to him, and he didn't know what was happening to him when his kundalini was awakening. So it was really, really scary. Like some, there was a night where he just thought he didn't think he was going to live or he thought he was going to go mad. And so he basically wrote out all his experiences so that his devotees could know what was happening when they were experiencing it. So there can be scary moments because the, the, it's so forceful. Energy can be so forceful to bring up some of these old things that need to be cleared out. And it can also just be really forceful when you're fully connecting with that powerful divine energy. If you're not used to that, you know, it can be, it can be a pretty intense moment. Best I can say is surrender. Oh, I love surrender. that. That's so yeah. I did, I had a dream like within like three weeks, two weeks ago, maybe even. And the snake was going up the back of my spine, inching its way up. And I could totally feel the snake, okay? And I had issues with it being a snake. And it's like, the snake is crawling up my back. And it went all the way up. And like I said, it just laid its head down right here on my third eye. And it's like, okay. So I got a snake there now. It's like, okay. Now what? But it wasn't it's, scary. It was just like, snake-like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I said, everybody has different experiences, and I think that's a really amazing, beautiful experience. You know how many people would probably really love to have that experience? <laughs> <laughs> so, really... you got to get out of the snake image, yeah. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, a dolphin, like we've talked before, hey, why couldn't it be a dolphin swimming up my spine? But no, it was a snake. It's like, oh, man. But it was so cool, though, and, and, I, and I could feel um, – I can still feel it on my forehead, and, and so I know it's there to be worked with. And like you said, I'm going to allow, and I'm going to sit with it, like you're telling us, and I'm going to learn exactly, you know, hey, how do we get along? How do we jive together, you know? I'm yes. going to find that. Listen, because you can hear, so I would just ask and listen. How do I work with you? What do I need to do? But it's really mostly surrender. Like, I know you're here for my grace. I know you're here for my awakening. I'm so grateful that you're here. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you. Let me understand you as a snake image, you know. Take my fear away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get that. I get that. I'm, I'm going to do this. I, I think the fear... The fear was programmed into us so we wouldn't 
awaken so we could stay I think you're right. in the mat matrix. I think that's that's what's just come to me. So I think that was all part of the programming. So we have to give up that fear of snakes and and just let it alone. You know. Well, yeah, just darn thing's so intimate with me. I have to give up the fear. No. <laughs> so so <laughs> Kai, you're going to do a process with it. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. So yes. Yeah, so um, I, we'll probably do some sort of a meditation or a. Oh, great. Um, Meditation or great. a transmission. I'm not sure what she'll do, but I've been feeling like she's going to give some sort of a Shakti pot. So, oh, awesome! We'll We're see. ready. I've got, I've got all my grounding stones, and we haven't turned psychedelic <laughs> colors to this week, so we're doing really good. I've got all the grounding stones sitting. I've got my feet on Uga night, and I've got my yeah everything going. So we're good. Great. Let's, yeah. let's do this. I'm excited. So, yeah, so I will close my eyes and I'll just tune into her, um, to the energy. And so we'll all just tune in and close our eyes. And, and you can ask for what you're wanting to within your heart space. If you're wanting a certain awakening or a certain explanation of something, you can always ask for that. So let's close our eyes. Open our hearts, so focus on opening your heart, really being in that divine place of grace, that divine place of opening, that divine place of awakening, of accepting, of allowing. Yamasasario, allowing this energy to be within you now. Allowing this energy to be awakening within there it is within you now. Wow, <laughs> So we're bringing all the energies together of everyone here with us now and everyone who will be watching in the future. Wow, we're bringing all these energies together. We are all one energy of divine love, divine grace, divine peace, divine truth. And we are all awakening to this energy now. There it is. Piercing the heart center. We're piercing the heart center. We're piercing the heart center. Piercing the heart center, allowing the heart center to open, 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 open. Yes, gracefully receiving this love within your heart. Gracefully receiving this love within your heart. Gracefully receiving this love within your heart. Yes, there are some people that are scared of the awakening. It's all grace. It's all love. It's all truth. It's all peace. It's all divine. You are your own freedom. You are your own grace. You are your own peace. Allowing this energy to expand within you so that you become the consciousness of all grace, of all truth, of all peace. Just doing some releasing. Yes. There it is. That's better. One group energy of love. Yeah, there it is. Allowing this energy to combine with the other energies in this group now. Feeling the energy of all consciousness, of all grace, there it is, of all truth, of all understanding. We are coming together now in this circle of peace, in this circle of grace, in this circle of truth, one light, one truth, one energy. There it is. So focusing on the heart today. We're focusing on the heart today. We're focusing on the heart today. The heart is the expansion of grace within you now. If you are afraid, so 
so deeply go into that heart where God is, where your dwelling place is, where peace is, where truth is, where your own space of your own truth resides. This is all about you and your own grace and your own truth and your own peace. We are not seeking anything outside of us. The divinity within us is what dwells within us as the truth of all things. We are peaceful, we are divine, and we there it is, we are free. Pulling in through the third eye center, pulling in through the third eye center. Wow, pulling in through the third eye center, allowing that graceful energy to be received in the third eye center and falling into the heart. And falling, there it is, into the heart like a waterfall of divine grace, falling into the heart from the third eye center. There we go. And exploding out from the heart in all directions. We are spreading this grace. We are spreading this truth. We are spreading this love with the entire world, everyone and everything. Guru Shai, see yourself expanding your love into the grace, into the truth, into the divinity of everything, everyone, everywhere. Yes, there you go. When you become one with all things, you know your own peace, you know your own grace, you know your own truth, because this is who we are. We are the divine essence of all things. We are the divine truth. We are the divine peace. Come say. Shai Shai Shiva Kurumasaraka, Inda Kurupasita, Anda Kaliyaputu, Ishtava Kanamasuso, Ishai Shai Shiva Kurumasuta, Itana Kaliyaputu, Ishai Shai Shiva Kurumasuta, Itana Kaliyotota Reke. There it is, there it is, there it is, Kumasata. You want to feel this energy more deeply within you. I so ask you now to allow yourself to feel yourself as you. Feel yourself as you because you are the divinity that you are seeking. You are the truth that you want to know. You are the blessings of grace that are already within your being. There they are. Como se. Yeah, reach out to you, reach out to your own divinity, your own peace, and your own truth. Come send it. Okay, thank you. Kuromasate. Ishtava Kramasasariya Tokurupatan, be divine, be perfect, be pure, be loving, be awake, we love you. Kurumasasariya Toshatakana Mata, Eke Mata. Karamasya. Yeah, that brought tears to my eyes. I could feel a woman is all I could say. I could feel a woman outside of me, but inside. She came from within, and, and, and she draped over me. And I've got to see who she is. I've got an image of her, and I've got to find, I guess it's me or my goddess within, but she's got like a, a bun of some sort and stuff. And mm. so I don't know. It's just like. Thank you. This is so cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Put in the comments what you guys got out of this. Wasn't this beautiful? <clears throat> wow. How about you, Rhonda? Yeah, Cindy say Cindy was say, uh, awesome. I had that that image in my mind that that their hearts were all connecting like with like the Care Bear stare, you know, it goes through and it was all oh, connecting nice. all their hearts together. Like you, you know, the the energy from my heart was connecting and we were all Connecting at our heart center with the pink oh, energy beautiful. going around around the world, but um, 
Yeah. Uh, and saying there was a lot of energy in her heart. And um, Robin just stopped and she said, oh, my God, I just stopped on this and I recognize the language. Um, oh, nice. There's a lot nice. of people Chills. that receiving the full measure of grace divine. Monica said she saw a vision of fire in a dragon's eye in her inner video player. Mm. Yeah, mm. Uh, awesome. there's a lot of people seeing lots of things. I'm just that makes sense. The fire is definitely part of the Kundalini as well. Yeah. Oh, Kai, Everybody thank sending you for hearts and love. all of this. Yeah, that's so awesome. And we can find you on your YouTube chain uh, page, right? Kai Shante, um, Angel of Light Meditation, correct? Yes. And and I put all the links in in our. Um, in our forward here and, and you can put more links in the comments too because some yeah, people have questions and if you want to and um uh, puts that um robin said she felt it in her forehead um yeah, chris chris, said, chris Ullman said that was yeah that was fantastic i got a big hug from a lady of bright light oh that's pretty cool yeah oh so, yeah it's the mother yeah, very the nice. divine mother that's the mother yeah <laughs> oh, that's so cool Oh, awesome. Just, just awesome. Yay. Um, so yeah, all the information and I, where and you can be found on your web page too. As yeah, well. my website is kaishanti.com. And um, I'm going to be in Bali next week. Well, the 7th through the 11th with my dear friend Tim Rustow, who I have an interview with him on my YouTube channel. And we're very connected in this tradition. We have very similar manifestations. And we're going to be doing some YouTube lives from Bali. Nice. So I don't know if it's going to be on mine or his channel, but um, I will definitely do some on mine. So that might be fun to check out because that is going to be, I'm really excited about this Bali retreat. It's going to be really high energy. Wow. So, and what else? Didn't you have some And you have a couple more up? retreats. Right. We okay. have we have potential retreats coming up. We I had one scheduled November 2nd through the 4th outside of Asheville, North Carolina. And that's um, that's on hold right now. If people sign up, we're going to do it. If they don't, we're, we're not. And then we have a possible thing coming up in November in New York City with Alan Steinfeld of um, New Realities. So just keep an eye on my website. Both pages, um, Kai Shanti Retreats and Events in God show what events I have. And then I also do my um, individual Skype sessions uh, online individually with people and that's kaishanti.com slash sessions so yeah, yeah. I'm available I put, I, put, I put your I put your website on on the page so if you want to get in touch with Kai please look her up um, you know uh, this would be so helpful she's so much more going on there than what we got this was just a little taste of what she does so um, yeah, I love yes, working yes, with people so. individually because when we work individually, we really get into the nitty gritty of whatever is happening with the person, and it's deep. I love it. Oh, nice. Always good. That's so cool. Yeah. I love That's it. So cool. And yeah, I and it. remember, watch this on the replay because I, I don't think you can get too much of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, watch the replay yeah. again. I looked up a couple of stones that go with um, raising your Kundalini. And, and we've got the Shiva Lingam Stone. This, this is not limited. This is just the ones that I happen to have. Ditchite, which is a form of serpentine. And serpentine is definitely Pretty. one. We've got the Dragon Stone, which also has serpentine in it. I love that. And here is the Bud Stone. Wow. And then, of course, what you brought out about the Tiger's Eye, you said Durga. Rides on the tiger, so tiger's tiger eye. The tiger, yes. Yeah. Also yeah. Shiva. Shiva. Oh, really? Shiva tiger. too. Rares oh, so that the totally thing. makes sense. And then, yeah. of course, garnet, my little star garnet there, and Maldivite. Little, nice. That's my little piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I know. There's more, but that's just what I had on hand. So. Those Thank you, because I didn't know those. You guys asked me that, and I was like, I have no idea. Yeah, or awesome. you know, crystal people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, just yeah, I have to have my level. stones since I was since I was a kid. Uh, okay, Teresa, do you want to give our announcements? And um, if you do the drum roll, I'll tell who won last week because I have that. Okay, so who shared I'll, it the most I'll, I'll do that. Let's 
do the announcements first. So, so stay tuned. In just a little while, we're going to have the amazing Kathy Holmeyer and her show, Nourish Your Multidimensional Body. This is so important, especially after you've raised your kundalini and all the things we've been clearing out, we're going to know what clean things we can put back into our system. And so Kathy has a show that shows us all the amazing things about that. And then later tonight at my time at 7, um, see, my, I could still feel my dirt eye going. Um, tonight at 7, well, let's see. Eastern Time, 8 o'clock, um, Pacific Time, 5, we have Janelle Cameron's show, um, Cosmic Ascension Report. Now, why I love this show is because whatever symptoms you think you go through all week, you can watch Janelle and see it's a part of the whole process. You know, it's like, no, 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 it's not that we have to go to the doctor for this. It, 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 we're okay. We're just ascending, people. We're getting more crystalline, and, and things are happening that's really exciting. So I, I just love to watch Janelle's show. And um, we have the Akashic Academy. You know that we all are an amazing part of this amazing family of the Akashic Academy. And you can join the family for $11.11. And I've heard that that's, that's it's going to be going up soon. So right now there's that low price. So hop in. Join us. We're your spiritual family, and, and we're here to show you all the support that you need. Emily and Coach Nick has got like eight more shows that they do that help us that are not for the public, just for us who join. And so it, it's an amazing support and great thing to be a part of. So join that. And, and um, drum roll, here it is. The winner who shared out the most. Last week was Anne Solomonde Johansson from the Faroe Islands. So, and she shared yes, out 14 times. Yes, and we times. love our Anne, don't we? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we do. Thank you for sharing it out. So, and this week, if you, if you shared out the most, you get a reading with Bex Marie, right? Yes. Yeah, great. Didn't so. write it down, but yes. Thank you so much, um, Kai. Again, we we loved having you on, and we'll hopefully get to see you again. And yes. um, Teresa, thank you. Bex, I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, and everyone, exactly. shine your light. Shine your yes. light and be a difference in the world because the world needs you. Take care, everyone. Blessings. And Thank have you. a good day. Blessings. Thank you. <laughs>